Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask code on this side. In this video we are going to discuss the question find the closest number. So what does the question say? The question says that you have been provided with an array as you can see an array is written out for you and you have been provided with a number. In this case the number provided to you is 10. The number provided to you is 10. Now the conditions on array is that the array is sorted. The array is sorted. The array may contain the array may contain duplicates may contain duplicates right the question demands you to present the number number closest to 10 closest to 10 right whatever the input is uh, let us say the number is given to you as n then you have to give me the number closest to n number closest to n right so you can see Difference of 4, uh, distance between 10 and 4 is 6. So it is 6 here, 5 is 5, 10 minus 5 is 5, 10 minus 6 is 4, 10 minus 8 is 2, 10 minus 12 is minus 2 but the distance is 2, right? 10 minus 14, again 2, 4, sorry. 10 minus 16, 6, 6, 9. The smallest difference comes here and here, that is of 2. The smallest distance comes of 2. Now the condition says, the question says that if distance is same, if distance is same from two numbers in that case return the larger number return larger number all these things may have been mentioned in the question right all the things have been mentioned in the question the question is straightforward right what is the brute force approach to solve this problem the brute force approach is a simple traversal what do i do i say my answer is currently minus one that is i've not found any answer right now i will traverse from 0 to n minus 1. Now, if absolute value of let us say the number is n, not n, n is given to the size, so k, right? If the absolute difference between k minus that element I am currently on is less than my uh, absolute value of k minus answer, right? Absolute value of k minus answer. In that case, in that case, what will happen? I will change my answer. I will change my answer to ARR i right less than equals to y equals to because this equals to will permit this statement validity also right because we are moving from 0 to n minus 1 so we are using the sorted array so the numbers on the higher i are actually higher than the previous i right so i will change my answer to error i after this for loop i will simply return my answer i will simply return my answer no problem in that the only problem is the time complexity what is the time complexity linear time complexity because i am traversing once and the space complexity is constant, right? Space complexity is not a problem here. What is the problem? Problem is the time complexity. How can I reduce it? How can I reduce it? So whenever there is a uh, there is a standard approach, I say that look out for the words. Look out for the words. Here the words are mentioned clearly that the array is sorted, and you have to find. You have to find. You have to find the number, right? Whenever these two combinations arise, it means the problem is 99.9% .9 of binary search then the problem is a part of binary search so let us look at the optimized approach and that will contain the binary search so this is the optimized version optimized what was the array given to us again so it was 4 5 5 6 8 12 14 14 14 16 16 19 this is the array you can check in from the previous video also now let me mark the indexes. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The binary search says put your low and high on the extremes. So my low can no, that cannot go uh, away from it and my high cannot go away from it. So my low is equals to 0 and my high is equals to n minus 1 in this case which is equals to 9. Then calculate your mid. Calculate your mid. So my mid will be low plus high by 2 that is 0 plus 9 by 2 which on integer even give, division gives me 4. I land on 4. I land on 4. I say, suppose my answer is currently minus 1, right? My answer is minus 1. That is, I have no answer at all, right? Now, what will I say? I will say, if absolute value of k minus arr of mid, right? That is the current difference, current difference between the numbers is equals to the current is equals to the absolute value of k minus answer right in that case what will you do you will say if 
ARR mid is greater than the current answer, then only update your answer. Then answer equals to ARR mid. You can say why didn't you put this condition in the first approach, in the brute force approach. So in the brute force approach, you are actually moving from left to right in a sorted array. And whenever we move from left to right in a sorted array, we are actually using the bigger approach only. That is why I added a equals to sign in the operator as well, right? But here, the equals to sign has to be treated differently, right? Now, if this condition is true, answer equals to mid. Answer equals to mid. Otherwise, else if the same, same things, right? If that is less than that, right? If the difference between the uh, K minus ARR mid is less than the K minus answer, in that case, short, short, my ans new answer will be ARR mid, ARR mid, ARR mid. Now, this is the only operation, this is the only operation you have to do to update your answer. But the problem arises where you will have to find which half to be eliminated. After detecting mid, you have two halves. One of the half is this one, that is low to mid minus one. And another half is mid plus one to high. This is from mid plus one to high and this is low to mid minus one. And binary search says for me to implement, please eliminate one of the half based on the properties. Please eliminate one of the half based on the properties. Now we know we wanted to find 10, we wanted to find 10, right? We have to judge basis on the 10th, right? Basis on the 10th and the basis on the mid value. Now I have error mid as 8. I want to get as close as possible to 10. I want to get as close as possible to 10. I have 8 in my hand. So doesn't that conclude that I cannot, because the array sorted, I cannot find 10 in the left half. This half cannot contain 10. Isn't that true? My left half cannot contain 10. Why? Because ARR mid is actually less than 10. ARR mid is actually less than 10. So in that case, I will change my low to mid plus 1. I will change my low to mid plus 1. I will change my low to mid plus 1. So now my low is here. My high is here. That is 5 plus 9 by 2 is my new mid. That is 14 by 2, 7. So my mid lies here. Again, will my answer get updated? No. Firstly, my answer was minus 1, updated to 8. Right now, will my answer get updated? 16. 16 has a difference of 6, uh, 6 from 10, whether as my current answer has a difference of 2, right? It will not get updated, but I will have to change my high or low according to that. Now, I am at 16, I want 10, I want to get as close as 10. Is it possible to find 16 in the right half? No, so change your high. High comes to mid minus 1, that is here. Now, 5 plus 6 by 2 gives me, 5 plus 6 by 2 gives me 5, right? Integer division. Now, that is, I am lying here. What is the difference between 10 and 12? It is 2. 10 and my current answer, it is 2. Both answers are equal. So, this if statement will get executed. What is this if statement saying? This if statement is saying that get answer the maximum value. So, after 12 and 8, I have to choose the maximum. So, my current answer becomes 12. The difference between the current answer and the um, mid uh, finding element is 2, right? Okay. After that, 12, I want to get as close to 10. So, 10 must be placed in the left half. So, I will say high equals to mid minus 1. That is, high will come at position number 4, high will come at position number 4, my low is at 5, my high is at 4, uh, high is at 4, that is high is actually less than low, in that case I will exit the loop and my answer is 12, and my answer is 12, right, and my answer is 12, right, so let me write the pseudocode again for you, what I am saying is I am saying low equals to 0, high equals to n minus 1, right, now while my low is less than equals to high, like you can say that answer equals to, uh, let's say int max, right? If you want to not go with uh, minus 1, right? But when my low is less than equals to high, what will I do? I will say mid equals to low plus high integer division of 2. Now, if absolute value of answer minus k is equals to equals to absolute value of answer minus arr mid, right? In that case, what will I do? Answer equals to maximum of existing answer with ARR mid, right? Moving forward, moving forward, the other condition can be else if these two statements only, but the operator changes with less than. What will I do in that case? I will say answer equals to ARR mid because that is short, short, right? Moving forward again, what will I do? I will say if the operation can be ARR mid, is equals to equals to k. In that case, I will just uh, return the k. I will just return k. Why? Because it is not possible to find something closest to uh, uh, another if the already resistance between the 
found value is zero. See, so if my error mid is equals to equals to k, I cannot find another answer, right? So I will say return k here, right? Because I found an element equals to equals to k, right? Now else if it is less than k, it else if it is less than k, right? What will I do? I will say low equals to mid plus one because my answer can be in the right half, right? Else if not the above condition, that means it is this condition in that case high equals to mid minus one, high equals to mid minus one. After running of the whole loop, return your answer. This is the only thing you have to do and the time complexity will be O of log n, the standard time complexity of n binary search. It will be O of log n. I don't think there must be any problem, right? But still, if any problem persists, you can comment down. You can meet me on the uh, Instagram or LinkedIn. The links are in the sec links in the, in the description as well. So please, please, please do comment, do uh, comment any of your queries. Right? I will, I will surely get back to you. Okay, moving forward, let us try to code now. Right guys, so before starting to code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible, right? So let us start with it. So my int low equals to zero and my high equals to n minus one, right? Firstly, I will say my int answer equals to int max. My int answer equals to int max, right? Or let us say my int answer equals to arr zero, right? A answer equals to arr zero. I am arbitrarily assigning that zero is the answer currently, right? Now, while my low is less than equals to high. What will happen? I will calculate my mid first. So int mid equals to low plus high by two. Now, if ab absolute value of k minus arr of mid is equals to equals to absolute value of k minus answer, in that case, your answer will be maximum of existing answer with arr mid. Otherwise, else if absolute value of k minus arr mid is less than absolute value of k minus answer in that case answer equals to arr mid right because my arr mid is actually closer than current answer right now if my arr mid is equals to equals to k that means i have already found a value that is that is short short the closest one so return arr mid else if arr mid is less than k that means there is a scope of finding a correct value at uh, right half so low equals to mid plus one as the remaining option says high equals to mid minus one high equals to mid minus one after this while loop I will simply return my answer right let us try to compile and run it hope it will run fine in the meantime do consider to subscribe my channel right it is running fine let us try to submit it submit it as well and it is running okay it is running 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 and 156 day streak thank you for watching and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question thank you have a nice day